A Dallas area teen could have gotten into a heap of trouble after throwing a late night gathering at her home while her parents were sleeping. Instead, her father decided to turn it into a very public teachable moment. 16-year-old Kirsten Rausch knew that having friends in her home past 11 p.m. was against the rules. My friend was over one night and we were like, what should we do? We're like, let's invite some people over after 11. Not my smartest idea. But what she didn't know was how her father would handle her punishment once she got caught. We really wanted to uh, get her attention. We wanted to give her something to think about, and uh, I think we accomplished that. Kirsten's father, Robert, took out an ad in the local paper. Under his daughter's picture, it said, quote, I'm in big trouble for missing my curfew, and my parents are making me provide 30 hours of free babysitting as punishment. My pain is your gain, so call. And joining us now from Fort Worth are Kirsten Rausch and her father, Robert. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning, Gary. All right, Kirsten, I want to start with you because your parents, I know, go to bed very early. They're early to bed, early to rise, et cetera. And normally, you're supposed to go to bed about what time? 11? Well, yeah, around 11. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, all right, and so that, that if you're supposed to go to bed around that time, that also would mean you're not probably supposed to have people over after that hour, right? Yeah, not really. You're not supposed <laughs> to have people over after 11. <laughs> so how many, friends, how many friends did you have over? About half a dozen total. About, about Sounded half. like two dozen, Harry. All right, yeah, hang on, hang on. We'll get to you, Dad, in just a second. So <laughs> you have the half a dozen friends over. It gets to be 1 o'clock. It gets to be 2 o'clock. It gets to be what time yeah. by the time you w woke people up? Uh, probably around 2.30ish. 2.30, I'm all right. And did you think you were going to get away with this? I did, <laughs> but obviously I didn't. <laughs> so. All right, so here we are. the house gets awakened, uh. and here we are. And Robert, your first thought was? Oh, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> um, it, 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 uh, my first thought was when we heard the ruckus upstairs that someone was in the house. And uh, uh, it turns out that there were several someones in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we were, we, were, we were really upset about it. She right. certainly knows the rules, right. and she certainly knows better than that. Now here's Robert. Under normal circumstances, is Kirsten just the model kid? Because I know she gets great grades, right? She's like, she's, she's super daughter. Well, she's, she's, I'm not sure what the model kid looks like, but um, yeah, if, I had, if I had to sketch out uh, what I wanted the perfect daughter to be, Kirsten would be, Kirsten would be the one. All right, there um, you go. The, uh, uh, she's a member of the National Honor Society. Right. She's formerly a nationally ranked chess player. Ah, and, well. uh, she generally listens pretty good. Yeah, Kirsten, you should, probably should have worked on some better moves for that night. Now, let me ask you this then. Yeah. So you come up with this punishment of taking out the ad and this free babysitting. Kirsten, when you, saw, when you heard about this and you saw the ad, were you absolutely humiliated? I wasn't necessarily humiliated at that moment, but right. I was really mad. So. Really mad. <laughs> yeah. And have you started doing the babysitting? Yeah, I have almost half of it done right yeah. now, and then I have more lined up. So. More lined up, okay. And what kind of calls have you gotten then, Robert, and people in response to this ad? Because this has also been all over the news. Yeah, it's, um, um, we, we actually feel like we're helping some folks out. Uh, one of the first ladies that called was uh, sitting for her nursing test and needed a babysitter to watch her kids. Mm -hmm. uh, another family of a kid with Down syndrome called, uh, uh, a single mom that was worried about missing a meeting called. So it, it's, uh, I, the response has been really, really positive. Uh, um, as, um, as we've gotten more news coverage, the calls have gotten I, yeah. a little stranger. But. I'll bet that's right. All right. <laughs> Kirsten, let me ask you this. Do you feel like you learned an important lesson here or any lesson? Yeah, I definitely feel like I learned a lesson. I learned that if you break curfew, you're going to get in trouble and that everything you, every mistake has a consequence. So, I mean, I obviously got in trouble for this one. So. Yeah, and if your father, you know, is going to do, do it in such a public way, I guess it really will make you think twice. And, and, I, and isn't that the lesson, Robert? 
It is. Um, and it certainly, there was certainly no intent to publicly humiliate her. We had initially planned this just to be a local thing, but uh, um, obviously it caught a lot of folks' attention. I think you may um, have given a lot it, of parents a, a, an idea here. <laughs> Robert, yeah. thank you very much. Kristen, thank you very much for uh, being a good sport about all of this as well. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Take care. Be well. Oh, Thanks, thank you. All right.